I'm Anil Kumar and this particular video is especially for my students who are scared of radical functions. I'll take up two examples. The first one here is f of x equals 2. Let us say square root of x and then again we have square root of x and then we have again square root of x. So, so we have multiple square roots. So that is not to scare you but uh, this is to tell you that it's not that difficult to do such questions, right? And uh, let me add one more question along with it, which will help you to practice. So let me copy a similar question here for you, which is f of x equals to, let's say this time we'll do q root here, and uh, let us say x square, and then we have uh, something, uh, let us say x. Okay, so we can have a function something like this also, right? Now you need to find derivative of this function at any point in general, right? So you need to find derivative of this function. So the question here is find f dash x. So you need to find f dash x for both the functions. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now such questions, what you should do is you should write this radical in simpler form and I'll show you in this particular video how to do it. We start from the inside function which is square root of x. So I could write this as x to the power of half, right? So this is x to the power of half. So we have taken care of this function. And now we'll take care of this function with this within the square root. So it is kind of x here and everything to the power of half. Is it okay? Perfect. And now we'll take care of this x and let me use different brackets for that. So let us say the outer function is kind of like this and everything to the power of half. Do you see that? So the square root, square root, square root type of a thing, we could write like this. And now let us apply the simple rules which we have learned to simplify this. Always start from inside out. So when you multiply x with x to the power of half, what do you get? half plus one, which is three over two, right? So so let me copy the outer side as such, which is x, and in this part, inside, what do I get? x, this is one, and this is half. When I add one and half, I get three over two. So x to the power of three over two, right? This is to the power of half, and then we have the outside bracket with half. Do you see that? Now we can apply the same strategy. Well, now multiply, right? So we are working with exponents. So we get x now within square root. When you multiply, you get times x to the power of 3 over 4. Perfect. Everything to the power of half, right? And this, when you add 1 to 3 over 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. So you get x to the power of 7 over 4 to the power of half. Do you see that? So ultimately, you get f dash x as equals to x to the power of 7 over 8, right? So we get 7 over 8 as our function. Now I think it's easy to find the derivative. So derivative will be f dash x. Applying the power rule, we get 7 over 8, x to the power of 7 over 8 minus 1, which is minus 1 over 8. So we, which you could write as 7 over 8, to the eighth power of x. Do you see that? So that becomes your answer, correct? So that is how you could actually solve such questions. I hope you have understood this strategy. Apply this strategy and this question and then solve that out. Well, this series could be long enough, but just keep on solving, simplifying as we did, and then find your solution. Well, here is my suggestion. You could actually do similar operation as we did here. So we'll start from inside function. So x, and here we have to the power of half, multiplied by x squared, and everything is to the power of 1 over 3. Do you see that? Now, let's combine these two terms. Half plus 2 is 5 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 over 2 to the power of 1 over 3. And that gives you x to the power of 5 over 6, right? So that is your function. So what is the derivative? Well, the derivative is applying the power rule. So f dash x is equals to 5 over 6 of x to the power of 5 over 6 minus 1. Let me write 5 over 6 minus 1, which you know is equals to 5 over 6 x to the power of 
minus 1 over 6 or 5 over 6 and then we have the sixth root of x in the denominator right so that is how you can get solution of such questions i hope that helps and this is this is one of the test problems which you might get so go through this understand the strategy and i hope that helps thank you and all the best